So purchasing a home is one of the biggest investments you ever make. So the first time home buyer can easily to make mistakes along the way. So in this video, we'll cover eight first time home buyers most common mistakes and how to avoid them. And please make sure you watch this video through the end because this is very, very common for first time home buyers to make these mistakes. <laughs> If you know who I am, my name is Deepa Phillips, your Denver real estate agent. And if it's your first time on YouTube channel, welcome to YouTube channel. Before you run away, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. So if you're a buyer, seller, investor, and have any other questions, please make sure you leave a comment below. And at the end of the day, I want to be a resource and also I want to be your realtor for life. So first mistakes that first time home buyer does is not getting pre-approved. So not getting pre-approved for a mortgage. Before you start looking for a home, getting pre-approved for a mortgage is very, very important. So this will give you a clear understanding how much you can afford to spend it will make your home buying process much smoother. And I see this every day and lots of buyers who are like, all right, I want to go see this home. And they go out and look at a home and they fall in love in the home that they went to go see. But the problem is that when they get pre-approved, they get all <clears throat> disappointed because they couldn't put an offer to home because they were was not approved for that amount. So buyers, hear me out. Before you look at any homes, please make sure you get pre-approved so you can know what you're approved for. So when you find that dream home that you like, you can know that you are approved for it. So mistake number two is budgeting. So buyers fail to budget for additional expenses when purchasing a home. It's important to consider all the additional expense with the home ownership. This includes property taxes, home insurance, maintenance costs. So make sure you have a realistic budget to account for these expenses. And buyers, as I said, you have lots and lots of fees when purchasing a home. The best way to uh, make sure you have enough for expenses is working with your lender. Because your lender will give you like an estimate what you need for closing costs. So when you are under contract and you're about to close your home, you know how much money you need to bring in the closing table so you won't have a hiccup. So please make sure you're budgeting, make sure you have enough money for expenses Make sure you have a game plan so when you close on your home, you'll be good to go. So mistake number three is home inspection. So skipping a home inspection is a crucial step in the home buying process. It can reveal potential issues with a property that may not be visible naked eye. So this happened a lot, a lot during the pandemic. And buyers would get to the most offer situation, and they will be like, all right, we'll waive home inspection. Woo-wee. This is a big, big red flag. Never, ever, ever waive home inspection. Because, as I said, you don't know what's in the house. Like, you don't want to purchase a house, have home inspection, and all these issues come out. And it's very, very important to do home inspection. And also, too, please make sure you don't hire Uncle Tom or whoever to do home inspection. And also make sure the home inspection or a home inspector is a licensed professional and knows what to do because this is a very, very crucial step and lots of buyers are having problems because they wait for home inspection and they don't do this and lots of issues come and it costs them thousands, thousands of dollars. And at the end of the day, you are investing thousands, thousands of dollars or it could be millions purchasing a home and you want to make sure that this is a step that you do not want to miss. Mistake number four, negotiation. So not negotiation, the purchase price. It's common for first-time home buyers to feel intimidated when negotiating the purchase price. So however, it's important to remember that asking price is a starting point of negotiation. And as I said, everything in real estate is negotiable. So if you want that 
TV or couch, you can negotiate to sell her. Or if you want this in a property, you can negotiate. Everything is negotiate, negotiable. Because don't assume that, hmm, yeah, I'm just going to pay for the price of the home and I'm not neg negotiate the price. Or asking the seller for concessions. Or something came in the home inspection and you want credit. Everything in real estate is negotiable. So please make sure buyers, if you're purchasing a home and you want something or something comes up in inspection or anything, is negotiable when purchasing a home. Mistake number five, rushing into a decision, okay? So purchasing a home is a big decision and it's important to take your time and consider all options carefully. Don't rush into a decision just because you feel pressure from others or afraid you're missing out on a good opportunity. And buyers, as I said, Purchasing a home is a big, big investment. And don't make the mistake because, oh, oh, I love this home, but let me jump into this home real quick because I don't want the home to be off, off the market or I don't want the home to, to be gone or it might not be there. And yes, we do know inventory is very low, but please make sure you could envision yourself in this home. Just don't rush into the home because... You know, mom and dad loves the home and telling you to buy the home. You want to make sure the home is right for you. Because what happens is that what people do is like they rush into things and later on down the line, like, oh, I made a mistake. Or another house comes in a different location. And they're like, oh, we could have got that house. So it's very, very important to make sure that you don't rush into decisions purchasing a home. Mistake number six, location. So location is one of the most important factors when purchasing a home. So a property might look perfect on paper, but may not be the best investment. And buyers, hear me out. Look, we all know location is very important. But before you purchase a home, maybe you should drive in a neighborhood, see how the community is, see how it is at night, see if it's a school district that you want your kids to go see that if it's you know good walkable score or if it's parks around the area or something you can envision yourself in this area just don't rush into buying this home and you didn't do your research to see what's around the area because what buyers do is they fall in love with a home but they don't do the homework and they're like uh why do we buy this home oh there's not a park there is not enough stuff to do around the area. So make sure before you buy a home in a location you want, make sure you do your research so you could be a happy buyer. Mistake number seven is just not planning what you're going to do in this house. So before purchasing a home, it's very important to consider your plans. Are you planning to start a family? Do you plan on working from home in the future? Are you going to host events or you're going to have people come visit you like your in-laws or whoever because these are important factors to consider when selecting a home because just don't buy a home and you just don't know what you are planning to do in this home or activities or anything so it's very very important to plan out what you're going to do in your home so you're not upset because you didn't plan these things that you want to have in the future in your home. Mistake number eight, rates, mortgage rates. It's very, very important for you to you know, shop around for the best mortgage rates. It's a very, very important step in the home buying process. It can save you thousands of dollars in the long run and refrain from selling from the first mortgage rate you receive. Take time, shop around, compare rates from different lenders, and because when you are going to shop mortgage rates, they pull your credit. And But don't be, be like, oh, man, I don't want my credit pulled so many times. Because when they pull your credit for rates on your credit, when they pull, they know that you are shopping for rates. 
so it won't affect your score that much because you know at the end of the day you want to do what's best for you but just don't rely on one lender who's going to give you a loan to purchase a home as i said you can shop around you can see what's the best rate because you just don't want to rush into something and do your homework and you're like oh man i could save thousands of dollars if i shot the rate or if i took my time but this is very important so just don't rely on one lender if you want talk to two or three lenders do that so you can get the best rate for you and your family to purchase your next home so purchasing a home is a big decision and there are many mistakes that first time home buyers can make so by, by avoiding these common mistakes you can increase your chance of making smart investments and find a home that meets your needs and fits your budget. So I've talked about eight mistakes in this video that first time home buyers make. And if you have any questions about any of these mistakes or whatever, leave a comment below this video. And I appreciate you for watching this video. And if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And guess what guys, I'll see you soon.